Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is well and keeping safe. My name is Gabriel. I am the business development manager here at Technorizing UK. And today I want to discuss a little bit about the Zoom app, their security, its security, their the threats, and the tips regarding also video conferencing. So uh, we know that uh, the past two months has been pretty uh, weird and odd for every every one of us working remotely, uh, having to do social distancing, staying away from family, friends, and most of us at this at this time are connected online and trying to engage with your business, your friends through uh, through the web, through virtually. So at the end of the day, uh, we are seeing a increase, uh, a huge increase in apps such as uh, Zoom and uh, other types of virtual conference for people to see each other as friends and also to keep the business uh, continuity. So one of the things that you probably saw in my previous post is me writing about Zoom and its, uh, its vulnerabilities, okay? And that's true, uh, Zoom had, had a few vulnerabilities as uh, most apps do, because at the end of the day, nothing is 100% safe. So yes, Zoom did have some problems, did have some vulnerabilities, but uh, the best uh, way to, to rate a company and to see how good is their cyber re resiliency is the way that they react to 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 problems such as uh, that uh, Zoom had in the past few the past few weeks. So this is one thing that I know I've been uh, being a bit critical about Zoom being uh, unsafe. But another one thing that I wanted to come here and praise them is for being a very quick and uh, reactive uh, company and trying to to fix the problem. And that's really good. So heads off uh, to them for that. So before I start with uh, with uh, this, what happened with uh, Zoom and other things, let's just give an overview about Zoom as a company. Zoom is an American communications technology company headquarters in California, United States. It provides video telephony and online chat, chat services through a cloud-based peer-to-peer software platform. Is used for, as I mentioned, teleconference for business, telecommunicating also, uh, distance education. Schools uh, have been using that also to keep their classes going and also for social relationship as uh, meeting meeting uh, friends that you haven't spoken in a long time. And this is another, we, we know that uh, with the corona crisis, there's bad things, but one of the things is connecting with uh, friends that you haven't spoken so long. So one of, we have to be thankful for apps such as Zoom for giving this uh, opportunity. You know? So another uh, Zoom uh, in the past uh, three months, four months, have been seeing a skyrocket uh, increase in number of users. Their share prices went up. The company has been seeing a high visibility in trending the news. So the company now has been jumped from another patamar of uh, business uh, level, business size too. So as we mentioned before, with uh, great risk, with great responsibility, uh, with uh, great powers come great responsibility. So Zoom has been seeing up to 40% increase in number of users uh, since uh, last year. So in terms of visibility, everyone is going to, to Zoom to speak uh, with their friends and keeping the business surviving because at the end of the day also is a free app. And for being a free app, it gives also visibility to the not so good visibility to the cyber criminals, which means that cyber criminals now are looking at a uh, app such as Zoom, seeing a lot of uh, people going in it and they see as a target to go and try to start money as more, more and more people are spending time online. So. For cyber criminals, this is a really good, great opportunity to go and find vulnerabilities for this app. And they did find it eventually. So one of the things I want to discuss today is the vulnerabilities that were found at Zoom. First one that's very important to mention is the Zoom bombing. Zoom bombing is like a photo bombing. When you know when you're with with friends and some 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 person going in the back and 
do, uh, can uh, just show up as uh, invited to the picture or can do some uh, not so cool gestures or inappropriate gestures. So it's it's kind of like a photo bombing, but is you're in a Zoom conference, could be in business or uh, with friends, and a random person jumps in the meeting and start making noises, writing uh, random comments, and showing uh, sharing inappropriate content. So this is called Zoom bombing, and this has been happening a lot uh, in the app. One one thing that be happening a lot is through classes. A lot of uni have been have been using Zoom uh, because of this this crisis. And uh, one of the things that uh, some schools also have been stopping using Zoom because a lot of random people have been jumping classes and interrupting professors to keep giving the classes to their students. So that was a big big issue that they also had to to comply with. Another thing that was found in a previous version of Zoom is that in the version 4.4.00 uh, was found to have a coin miner uh, malware, which means that uh, when the Zoom installer was installing your computer, you would be downloaded a coin miner, which means you download a bad malware that is going to be in your computer using uh, the efforts of your computer to extract uh, bitcoins or find uh, bitcoins. So you're gonna see your computer slowing down and at the end of the day could interrupt your, your business or your activities. So not good also. Another thing that was found at Zoom app is that they were not doing an end-to-end -end encryption, which means that point A and B were not safe while uh, exchanging data between them, which was not good also. If you're, imagine you're exchanging a very confirmation data about your business, this could be seen by the criminals. And because of that, some some leakage were found on the deep web coming from Zoom. So usernames and passwords were leaked on the, the dark web. A good thing that I want to share with all the people watching today is this website right here called haveibeenfound.com. This website, you go there, type your domain email there, and you're able to see where was your username and password leaked in the whole web. So that's pretty cool to see if you had had any compromise with your email. And if you did, the thing, the first thing that we recommend is to uh, change your password. Okay. Another thing that uh, we we want to share is that uh, because of these vulnerabilities that were from Zoom, a company such as Google and the New York Times, they decided not to use the video conference app for their business or for any third party. So this was uh, not uh, perceived that good for some some companies, and they've been losing a little bit of the clientele because of that. However, Zoom has uh, stepped up, and they have come up with uh, security updates and uh, and also new so new security features to keep keep it uh, their users safe. So one of the things that We've seen that Zoom have just uh, updated is the new version. So the latest version called the 5.0 has just came up with an end-to-end encryption, which is a way to keeping point A and B in encrypted. It's like a VPN, it's a tunnelized, it's like a tunnel, as we mentioned in, uh, before. A VPN is a tunnel that keeps uh, your information going to that tunnel, not uh, not able for outsiders or hackers to see what's inside because of that tunnel is uh, protecting the layer of the communication. So this is a really good point to have. So I know many people uh, already have Zoom in their computers. Probably they have had something old as a version. So make sure if you already have Zoom, go back to go back to the app, check which version you're having. If you do not have 5.0, make sure you do have it because you're getting this, the latest security features and you're going to be encrypting your data, which means uh, no outsiders can read it. So pretty good to, to do that. Another thing is to check your preference. This is mainly for phones, okay? Many many of the apps that you download lately, they, they ask for preference, such as, do you want to share your phone contact with us? Do you want to share your Facebook contacts? Do you, would you mind if we have... Uh, uh, your files. Do you mind if we have your sharing your photo with us? So 
the, the most important thing is to go through the preferences of your app and check which type of data and what kind of data you're sharing with, with the app that you're using. And make sure you're just sharing the data that you want to be sharing and not those very uh, important or confirmation data that should be just kept for yourself. Okay. And I know that uh, probably a lot of people probably going to be saying, is Zoom safe at the end of the day? And I say with uh, proud, proudly to say that it is safe if you do download the, the latest version. As, as you know, three things at the end of the day uh, are free things. So it's one thing to think if, if it's free, sometimes it might be that you're the, the product. So they're trying to use you to get the data and probably do other meanings. So this is a good thing to think about it when you're going to virtual conference. If it's really important, maybe you should be paying a little, a little bit for it because at the end of the day, it's safe. And one of, uh, for internal communication, for example, uh, where it's more perceived to be, to, to you for, to be sending a confidential and important data, we tend to recommend to pay a little bit, a little bit for, for that, uh, solution. One of the things that we use in house and many companies we see is in Microsoft Teams. That's a, a great, uh, limited, but safer secure solution. But for, uh, I would say for business that are looking for a, Free, free app. Definitely, Zoom is the the best option right now. So I hope uh, this uh, this little video helps everyone. Uh, also, if there's any other questions, you can uh, email us in the email right here, cyberinquires at technorizinggroup.com. We are here to help. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone stay safe and have a lovely week. And take care. Bye bye.